Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So today I'm going to be tying this. It's a soft hackle dry fly. It's a really interesting little pattern. I've tied quite a few of these for a customer that keeps asking for them. I've never fished them myself, but he sure has real good luck. He's been using these for a while. I did not come up with this pattern, by the way. He, uh, he sent a few pictures of some that he had gotten from some fly shops that worked well for him. So he said, can you tie this? And I gave it a shot. So I'm using Risen's Barbless Dry Fly. I'm using size 14. Now for the tail, a lot of times these just use hackle, but he likes it with a pheasant tail, tail. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach that on. Now I, I find pheasant tail tends to be a little more fragile, but how he likes it so wind it on like that and then I come up under and that'll kind of lift it and allow that tail to split a little bit and then we'll just wind up about halfway up and you can just rip it right back off all right and then he wanted a brown body so we will Get some brown dubbing. This is this is UV2 fine and dry. It's real good stuff. I'm gonna need a little more here. You can see I'm about halfway up. We will take a CDC puff. I just cut the tip off so that way it's easier to tie in. What I was doing right there is just um, spinning the thread counterclockwise to make sure it um, jumps this way versus that way just a little easier to tie in and then so I tied back I'm just gonna come forward with it like so we'll go back to right at the start of the body there the abdomen and then we're gonna take a hackle feather. I'm just going to strip off a, a little bit of the back end there. And I like tying my hackle in this way. I figure eight it, keep it parallel like so, as you can see. And then there's a little tag end right there. And I just kind of wind over that tag end. And that will keep that from coming out. All right, so one, Two, you don't need much. Basically two and a half, maybe three turns, somewhere around there. Capture that, pull it all back. Snip off the waist. And pull this rearward and kind of wind it back up into the got a little issue there. It's not going over that bump. This is an interesting fly. It's a little I wouldn't call it messy, but it's just kind of one of those flies that I wouldn't necessarily say looks the best, but it works. 
especially for him. I've, I, boy, he catches some good fish with it. Now I've got a little bit of the lighter colored section of partridge. You want to strip off a lot of the back end here. We're going to do a soft hackle. You can see I'm kind of preparing this just a little section of it. Okay, that's all we're going to wind on right there. Left the tip. I'm going to pull everything back. We're left with just the, the tip section. We're going to cut off a little section here so that way we have a little tie in point, but it's not going to be over the, the eye. All right. Tie down to there. Capture it with some hackle pliers. Pull some of the fibers rearward. And then wrap this onto the hook. I would say more of a palmer than a touching wrap. I mean, it's, it's not quite a palmer, but I'm just going to loosely wrap that on there. Make two turns, pull off the hackle plier. You don't need that anymore. Pull back the everything, um, including the stem. Wrap back up a little bit onto that. There we go. You can take, if you hold tight with the thread, you can take that and just yank it right off. Makes it a little easier. And it makes for a cleaner head. Then go ahead and whip finish. There we go. It's a relatively simple fly. I don't really know what it mimics exactly. It is a soft hackle, so maybe a spider on top of the water floating. I'm not sure. But he says he has real good luck, and in fact, he sends me pictures. Here, you guys are real tight in there. Whoops. All right, now you can see it a little better. I had you a little too tight. Sorry about that. So, again, I don't know what it mimics, but it seems to work really well for him. He catches quite a bit of fish. A lot of movement with those... Um, with the soft hackle there. And boy, he catches some nice browns with it. Um, out in uh, Connecticut, I believe, is where he's at. It's where he fishes. Um, he does do some fishing in Pennsylvania and that surrounding area. But I've always seen that he has really, really good luck. So he sends me photos of all the fish he catches. Um, I've posted quite a few of his fish on my Instagram of, you know, look, uh, um, he caught some fish with some of my flies and he always does. So this is one of his favorite uh, go-to patterns and yeah. So go check him out. You can find him on Instagram if you, if you have an Instagram. Also, you can find me as well. Um, so go check my Instagram out. But his, his Instagram is Upstream Fly Fisherman. And he catches quite a few fish. Um, he does a lot of smaller creek stuff, but... Um, he catches some really big browns as well. Um, again, this is one of his go-to patterns. He's always catching with it. And I've been uh, lucky enough to tie quite a few of them for him. So there we go. Again, I am sponsored by Risen. But as you can see, they're very high-quality hooks. And, and guess what, guys? They're only uh, 25 of them for $4. It's only 4 bucks. For 25 hooks and they're again very high quality for a barbless hook it's kind of hard to find in that price especially this quality um, that's like budget cheapo uh, brand pricing but they are very high quality I've never had problems with them bending I've never had problems with uh, you know the sharpness of them they're super sharp especially the barbless series um, all of them are just really high quality. I really like their hooks. Um, 
I like the black anodized um, uh, coating on it. It's very nice um, and just really good all around hooks here. So go check theirs out. You can go to www.rizandfly.com. They also offer a discount. So I get a discount on top of that really good price as well. And you guys do as well. So I'm going to give you my discount. It's McFly. You can type it in at checkout. Just type in McFly at checkout. And they'll give you an extra 15% off on um, your first purchase there. So also, guys, I do sell flies. Obviously, I'm selling these. Um, if you guys are looking to buy some dry flies, uh, some nymphs, some even saltwater streamers, whatever it may be, I pretty much tie everything under the sun. So if you're interested in some custom flies, just let me know. Really easy way to get a hold of me is through Instagram. Just go ahead and uh, find me on Instagram. Shoot me a, a private message there, and then I'll go ahead and give you pricing of what you want. You tell me what you're looking for. But if you don't have Instagram, not everyone does, you can find me, uh, you can find my email if you just go to my homepage here on YouTube. And then go to the About section. And once you hit the About section, you'll see at the very bottom, uh, there's a little place that says View Email or something like that. Go ahead and click that, and that'll give you my email. And you can just shoot me an email, same process, just go ahead and uh, send me what you want, I'll get you pricing. Now you don't pay until I finish, so I send the I send pictures, and once I'm done and you approve the pictures of the fly, then I go ahead and send you a uh, the invoice. Once you pay, I'll go I'll go ahead and ship them out to you. Here's a different one that he asked me to tie, and this one's in more of a black color. You can see I used a little darker of the soft tackle on there. Um, black body, tan wing. Um, that's what I tied for him today. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.